Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about custom workflow step. In previous tutorial, I explained custom workflow process. Custom workflow process and custom workflow steps are not same. People are confused about this. Custom workflow process is a backend module and you can individually deploy this to AEM. As soon as you deploy this custom workflow process in AEM, this will be available inside a process step drop down. And it does not have its own dialog. If you want to pass on some value to this, you have to use process step existing dialog. It will also not available inside the available step on workflow model page on the left side in available steps. I have already explained about custom workflow process in previous tutorial. Please go back and check uh, tutorial number four of this series. So to write a custom workflow step, you need a component. This is a normal component, but this will not have any rendering script as well as the backend module. Means it will not have either sling model or use class. It will have only the dialog and edit config node. And when you link this process custom workflow process to this component, this whole setup is become a custom workflow step. Now this step will be available inside available steps on workflow model page. So this custom workflow process is a individual module. It does not need a custom workflow step to work. It can be deployed individually to AEM, but custom workflow step need a process, custom workflow process. Now let's see the demo part. I have written a custom workflow process called Geeks workflow step and a component like Geeks workflow step. This component will not have a rendering scripts as well as the sling uh, backend module as I said. So it will have dialog, CQ dialog as well as edit config node. Edit config node these are mandatory. These two parts are mandatory and this edit config node has a one more child node called CQ form parameters. In this CQ form parameters, there is a property called process. In that property, you will map this custom workflow process to this component. So once you deploy this whole setup, a step, a new step, Geeks workflow step will be available in, inside the available steps on workflow model page. Now let's see the demo part. To write custom workflow step, first you have to write a custom workflow process. To write custom workflow process, you have to write a backend module, means class, that should implement workflow process. Okay, uh, if you implementing this, then you have to give uh, the implementation of execute method, which has three variables. I have already explained this in detail in previous tutorials. In at the rate component annotation, service would be your uh, interface, means workflow process dot class. So I am not doing anything uh, in this process just I'm creating it apart from this uh, workflow process you have to write a component as well so I'm creating a new component here so what I'll do I'll create this component inside a new folder called workflow and inside this folder I create a component geeks workflow step so I created a component it has basically two parts CQ dialog and CQ edit config node it does not have any rendering script so inside dialog i'll de define whatever the dialog is and it it would be you know uh, the resource type super resource type would be the existing process step okay so in cq edit config it has a cq form parameters which is mandatory part inside this you will have a property called process and inside this property you will define what is my process means custom process right this CQ listener is not uh, mandatory but you can write that if you want to you know apply some some uh, listeners on page reload or something but this is not mandatory once I deploy this component and as well as this backend uh, process so a new step should be available inside the available step so let me deploy this so once deployment is done, I created a new model called workflow model called Geese custom workflow and I open it. Now a new process is steps, step, workflow step should be available inside this available steps, but it is not available here, right? So what might be the reason? If you see my component group, so my component group name was AM Geeks hyphen workflow. But if you see here, this group is not allowed, even not present here. So what might be the reason? So if you come here, go to this properties if you open the properties in advance you will see the design node where it is using the default design node if you are working on 6.3 or previous version and if you are still working on the static template so you can understand the importance of design node basically 
what is the problem here my component group is not allowed here this so here my component groups is not allowed that's why my my steps means my component which is being used as a step is not available here so what you can do just go to this part copy this and this is the default node design node if you go here and check you will find a default design node and you will see a number of uh, information go to jcr node and you see the number of options here but all of options are not for our use go to model and flow if you see in this flow you will find the components and you click on this so you will not find our group here right so what you can do you can add your group here but this is the lips part you should not add this here at all if you are if your project is still using static templates so you would be having the design node right if you do not have then what you can do you can create your own design node node right so for that what you can do just copy here and copy this right just just for the safer side and quickly uh, just copy here and go to apps inside settings right and wcm design so all the design nodes are here ideally in 6.5 we are not using design nodes but even if you use it then you have to you know create here so what you can do just paste it here okay. uh, paste and rename so i'm just renaming it to geeks okay and i will remove all unnecessary things because those are not of my use i remove this and i remove this you you can create your own as well i'm just for the quickly perform this section i just copy paste and inside this also i'll remove everything everything other than what i'm using i'm using model i'm using my this these things right so for now i'm using only model so i will remove everything other than this model so i removed everything and inside my this model flow i added my component group if you see here i added my uh, group am geeks hyphen group if i save it now this my step should be available and my group should be available here so let me refresh this once and and change the path of this so copy this path and use your own design node here right so now i'm using my own design node save it and just refresh this model once you refresh this you will see my this my group is available and i click on this my process my custom workflow step is available here now use this step once you drag and drop just edit so you will be able to see the dialog available for this step and these are the custom fields i have added i have one text field uh, checkbox and multi field so let's some add, uh, add some values to multi field to and add countries like india and usa okay just save it now let's talk about these dialogues don't forget to sync it right so these dialogues let's go to the component and talk about these dialogues first so if you see this component my component inside workflow you will find these dialogues so you will find here these are four tabs i added four tabs but in my actual workflow uh, step you will see there are two tabs available only common and argument so what i'm doing because my component is a you know i using resource type super resource type as a process so whatever the dialogue available that will be available to my component if i don't write so what i'm doing i don't need whatever i don't need uh, what i'm doing i'm just hiding on added right so i'm only using these two the first two i'm just hiding i'm using only this and this one like commons and this oh, my custom field so come here check arguments and these are my field brand is simple so you you will see a difference here the name is uh, slash metadata than brand why is it so you have to write in this way because when you this model is saved this will save these values in a node called metadata i'll show you where it is so every time this is the standard and you should follow this so name should be slash metadata and then your name brand uh multi field let's see this uh multinational colon metadata and then whatever you have the same 
for the multi field as well okay now you'll see how you can get it in a process so now let's come to the process as i explained you earlier in last as well this is the metadata map so this this variable means this argument provide you all the values of the dialogue so what i'm doing here i'm getting this process arguments process argument get brand okay this is because a string so i'm getting this in string uh, process argument dot get multinational because it's a boolean so i'm giving default value is a false and then boolean okay and i'm printing those values in a log so that you can see later on we'll use this step somewhere a multi field how you can get just uh, process argument dot get and the name you will notice here i'm not using metadata slash uh, uh, countries because so i'm only and only using what i define after metadata if you come here and you will see see metadata slash country so i'm using only countries reason being is there will be a node with name metadata i'll show you so right now i'm using only countries i'm getting values and i'm defining default value as a string okay some string and i'm printing this so once this workflow will execute whatever the uh, data i configured in dialog that should be available in logs later on right now i'm printing in logs later on we'll use somewhere okay just save this and deploy and run that workflow come here i have added these values save this sync this and run this workflow right now i will not create a launcher i'll just show you by running this workflow manually select a page load okay just select accordion and click run okay so the workflow has been run if you come here uh let's go to the archive you will see okay this has been executed right now and if i go to logs it will see okay my brand was apple multinational was true and the countries were india and usa what i configured here let me show you one more time right because it's a true so true and countries was this india and usa uh, now you must have a question where these values are stored whatever i configure in dialog where those values are stored and where that metadata node present what i was talking about so uh, you have to go to where this model design is stored go to conf let me show you conf global and your model right your model geeks custom workflow flow this step and you will see a node metadata right that's why i said uh, i prepared this colon metadata now all the values are stored here and this is the node okay uh, i hope you understood about custom workflow step and you also understood the difference between the custom workflow step and custom workflow process if you have any question please do comment thank you